So if you're struggling with developing your themes, this video is for you. Maybe you have lots of codes and you're not sure how to turn them into themes or what, uh, which codes to delete, which codes to keep, how to develop themes, how to know what themes we want in our study. Are themes simply the reflections, our research questions, or can I have more themes than research questions? All these things, all these questions are very common. And in fact, one of the most common things that I do during uh, my Zoom consultations is this, when you come to me and you show me uh, that you have plenty of codes and you're just wondering, what do I do next? How do I turn them into themes? Uh, because it's so difficult sometimes and it's so unclear how exactly to proceed. So I obviously have lots of videos on my YouTube channel on how to develop themes or technically how to move from codes to themes. This is not uh, one of these videos. Here I just want to help you with several questions and considerations for how to decide what we want to keep as a theme. If you're new around here, then feel free to watch my other videos in which I talk about just how to turn codes into themes specifically from, let's say, this more technical uh, side. Here I want to focus on some questions that need to be asked and answered to decide or, or to just to help you develop the theme. So one of the first things that I ask you, for example, when in that situation that I described, when you show me all these codes, one of the first questions that I usually ask you is tell me about the, a little bit about the rationale for this study. Why do we need this study? What's the whole you know context and the whole argument for why why we need your study? What is the problem that you're trying to address? And and another thing that's pretty related to this is tell me about the possible implications of the study or aims of the study. So basically, I know you're still trying to develop your findings. So how can I talk about implications? But surely you do have an idea. So in general, we usually do have an idea for who will eventually benefit, who, who we hope to eventually benefit from our study. So like I said, it's all interrelated and interconnected with the rationale. So if I know there is a problem with teaching, if I'm exploring teaching, for example, or certain teaching practices in a certain school, then surely there is a problem, some problem that we know exists either in the school or in a similar context, some sort of problem that we want to uh, explore. So if we are uh, investigating how teachers uh, give feedback, for example, then again, probably there is an argument for this or why we need to know this. Maybe there is some problem. And then as a result, like I said, there's probably some idea or something that I hope this study will bring or some uh, somebody who will benefit from that study. So maybe I'm hoping that we can develop better uh, guidelines for teachers or maybe better policies uh, regarding feedback. And only knowing this sort of information will really help us decide about the theme. So let's use a different example now, uh, the one that may not seem as obvious as the first one. So let's imagine we're doing a study in which we're exploring, we're trying to understand why do ex uh, convicts, ex offenders, why do they struggle if they struggle i'm just making this up now why do they struggle during job interviews so we have ex offenders they try to get a job they struggle during job interviews so that's our uh, hypothetical study don't forget to check out my ebook entitled scholar's guide to ai assisted thematic analysis which is a useful resource for thematic analysis whether you do plan to use ai or not it contains plenty of useful advice, step-by-step -step instructions for thematic analysis, and a list of prompts that you can copy and paste into ChatGPT. And now I want to give you an example based on this uh, uh, of a couple of considerations, couple of scenarios, what may happen when we try to develop themes. So, of course, the question is, why do they struggle? So, of course, I, I would expect one of the themes to be something about these struggles. So challenges they face, you know, struggles, barriers, obstacles, something like that. Again, it's pretty obvious because, of course, if you want to know about their struggles, then you probably ask these questions during the interview. But is that going to be the only theme? So imagine now that uh, they talk a lot about some of them talk about, for example, strategies or something they do prior to the interview. So the ones that maybe were successful or, or the ones that hope to be successful, they talk about things they do prior to the interview. Uh, I don't know anything, meditation or doing more research about the company or the workplace that they want to apply for. So now, uh, is that going to be a theme? Is that a theme or is it not a theme simply because I'm not asking about their strategies or coping strategies or whatever they do. I want to know, remember, we want to know in our study about why they struggle. That's the, that's the aim of the study. However, if we think about it, 
And that's where that's what I meant by you know when I said about uh, thinking about the rationale and thinking about the the possible future implications or the the long term aims of the study. That's the question I asked. Why do we need to know this? Why do we need to know why they struggle? So we need to know why they struggle because, and again, this is all made up, but because we know, for example, that there is a high percentage of uh, these ex-offenders who uh, get invited for a job interview. However, compared to that high percentage of offender, ex-offenders who get invited, a relatively low percentage uh, gets through these interviews, gets the job. So that's, let's say, that's the background of the, the rationale. So so as a result, I'll, I'll continue to ask, why do we need to know what we're trying to know in this study? We want to know that because we want to help them get the job, right? So that's probably the long-term aim and the long-term, you know, uh, something we hope would be the benefit and possibly implications, you know, maybe for some courses, trainings, you know, in prison or, or online or anything. We want to, uh, to help them get the job. So if we think about that, is really knowing why they struggle or how they struggle, what they encounter during the interview, the only relevant thing in that data? Of course it's not. So is knowing what helps them also relevant? Considering all these things that I just said, of course it's relevant. So knowing, for example, how somebody prepares how somebody meditates and it helps them, of course, it helps with this long-term aim. Yes, the research question is why they struggle, but if we think about the, the long-term aim and the implications, we want to help them, of course, knowing what actually helps some of them or what they do prior to the interview so that they are successful is equally important to knowing why they struggle. In the same way, anything else that seems relevant like somebody may say what helps them not prior to the interview but what they do during the interview how they dress how they act or anything else again if you just focus on the research question you may say well okay it's not exactly what we're asking in this study however if you think about why we're asking these questions in this study which is to help you know future people in the same position get the job then of course it's important to know what helps them during the interview is it important to know uh, what they suggest or what recommendations they make. Maybe lots of them made recommendations. They said the way we're prepared in prison just wasn't good enough and, and I think prisons should start thinking about this training. Is it relevant? Yes, it's relevant. Again, it's relevant for our long-term aim. It's not really answering the question of why they struggle directly, but uh, but through talking about it, you know, what they, they want to improve. Yes, it's also uh, answering the question of why they struggle actually because it's probably telling me that at the moment this is not the case uh, you know this is not how they are being prepared in the prison plus it's obviously helping me address that long-term aim by talking about what we may do to prevent or to to help others and prevent them from struggling during job interviews so i hope that this long example this long and complex example actually made sense but i hope that you know what my argument, what my point is. We need to ask these questions and only this way, as I explained in my other videos where I also talk about developing themes, only this way can we know what we want to talk about, what narrative we want to build, and then as a result we may start organizing the, uh, the, the codes into themes. So that's another video in which I, like I said, I, I really delved deeper into the technical aspect of it. But here I hope you see my point is very important to ask these questions uh, to really distinguish between what's relevant and what's not relevant. Otherwise, we'll just focus on very narrow set of themes, which is fine, and obviously nobody will know that there was so much more in our data, but but it's not about what others will or will not know. It's about how good our study is and how we can actually contribute and, and you know, lead to certain change that we're probably hoping hoping to see with our study as a result of our study. And if you're struggling with either this element of your study or anything else, developing interview questions, developing research methods, data collection methods, or any other aspect of your study, either planning or implementing your study, uh, remember to look at my website, look at my services. We can meet, we can talk, can share a screen and just look at what you have and I'll uh, offer you guidance and ways to, to proceed. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it if you did, share it with others, post questions in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.